hello team and welcome back to the channel so before we start i would request you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are very close to 1 lakh subscribers and uh, it's like really a huge milestone so make sure to subscribe you will find amazing tons of videos with respect to devops cloud devops and real time scenarios okay and multiple corporate level pro uh, production grade projects you'll be able to find on the recent videos okay now coming to today's topic so recently almost all of you have pinged me continuously asking me to make a video with like three tier kind of application having front end back end and a database so that you can understand how a database can be connected to our application so finally i have decided to make this application and i wanted to do it live so i'll be doing it on my website uh, and i have created a free course for this three tier ultimate real time devs, uh, devops project you can directly uh, follow the link in the description and you can enroll to this course for free it is completely free no there is no charge and uh, now talking about what exactly will you be getting with respect to this course right so uh, i have prepared a slide let me explain you so we are going to set up this whole three tier ultimate real time devops uh, project okay talking about what exactly will be there so see uh, i have seen multiple videos on youtube there are multiple videos like where they are showing uh, three tier deployment but uh, I have seen like not all of them are showing the actual way okay because you know directly we can go to kubernetes do the deployment that's fine but when you are in devops so devops is all about following the best practices right so that's what we are going to do we are going to perform this uh, live implementation in a proper way first we are going to understand the structure of the project we have python we'll be having python as backend we'll be having some tool for the frontend part we'll be having like a, a database like mysql or any other uh, as a database part right so we are going to understand how exactly the course uh, like the project is created how exactly the uh, mysql or any other database is being connected right that we need to understand first after that we are going to build the application through ci cd pipeline so okay so before that we are going to set up infrastructure and as you have requested multiple times i have already used like a self-hosted kubernetes cluster using kubeadm right so this time i am going to use eks the cloud uh, kubernetes service you are going to set up jenkins sonarcube trivi docker and grafana and there will be other tools also whichever is needed i'll be adding it like right like uh, python will be needed i guess right so all those thing, uh, things we are going to set up during the infrastructure process and we are going uh, once the infrastructure is ready then we can go ahead and start with the project uh, like build and deployment right after the infrastructure is set up we are going to set up our project repo okay we are going to like see because in devops obviously we are not going to set up a public repo because when it comes to like devops practices we are going to we should be setting up a private repository so we'll set up a repository push our source code but do not worry this project will be available to you <laughs> that won't be private to you right that will be available to you okay so once we have pro properly set up uh, our like source code inside the uh, github repository then we can start writing the full stack pipelines okay and the best part is that key uh, we are going to automate this whole process so that if there is any changes in our repository automatically it will trigger the pipeline to perform the deployment okay so for that we are going to use triggers uh, uh, triggers such as webhooks in case of jenkins okay and once the deployment is successful we are going to verify the deployment first secondly we are going to set up monitoring and on youtube also i saw that there are people who are showing monitoring for like just uh, like the system level monitoring right like monitoring the ram and cpu but monitoring is not just about that we need to be able to, we should be able to monitor the website also whichever application we are deploying we should be able to monitor that uh, website as well as well as the traffic that is coming to that website okay so for that also we are, i'm going to show you so all these things will be done properly live so that you can understand everything clearly okay so make sure to enroll to the course it is completely free and you can find the link in the description okay so make sure to uh, enroll also team i'll be starting my batch 5 so yeah i'll be giving more information about that soon okay so yeah that will be all for today team and i hope this uh, video will be really useful for you if so then make sure to yeah uh, make sure to learn more okay so that's all for today team and thanks for watching have a nice day